7 MHz to 27 MHz converter. Add to an AMCB and you can receive 40 meter SSB signals. It's really simple, just two transistors. One is for the local oscillator and the other for the BFO that allows SSB reception. You can build it in a little box that can just bolt onto your CB radio. On the top of the converter is a chart that relates the CB radio's channel to the actual receive frequency on 7 meg. There's very little inside, two transistors only. One transistor is the local oscillator and the other transistor is the BFO. There's no active device in the mixer. Instead, I'm using just one single germanium diode. It's the simplest diode mixer you can get. The local oscillator should be around 20 MHz. The tuned circuit in the collector of the converter is resonant on 20 MHz. That's how I could get away with using two 10 MHz crystals. The reason why I'm using two crystals is I wanted some frequency swing. With the CB, it's only fixed channel. There can be jumps of up to 20 kHz between CB channels especially in some of the useful frequencies on 40 meters. Therefore, the VXO needs to swing by at least that amount on 20 megahertz to ensure full coverage. Just taking a look at the circuit for the converter. At the top here we have a mixer, about the simplest mixer circuit you can get using an OA95 germanium diode or any other diode that you'd use in a crystal set. The tuned circuit, input tuned circuit, I'm using a 4.7 microhenry RF choke. There's 100 picofarads in parallel with that. And to couple the incoming signal from the antenna, two turns over the middle of that. The output resonates on 27 meg, and I'm using an RF choke, one microhenry, and four to 40 picofarad. Um, three turns over that. And that goes into the antenna socket of the CB. The local oscillator, it needs to be 20 megahertz. Here though I'm using 10 meg crystals because that's all I had. But if you do have 20 meg crystals then use those. The collector circuit of the local oscillator is brought to resonance on 20 megahertz. That's the 2.2 microhenry RF choke there and the trimmer capacitor down here. Just a standard Colbert's oscillator circuit. Over here on the left we have the beat frequency oscillator. You don't really need that if you're using an SSB-CB. The function of that is to allow SSB reception. If you've got an AMCB though, and you want to hear SSB signals, then you need, do need the BFO in. I'm using a ceramic resonator for 3.58 meg. The second harmonic of that is the SSB part of 40 meters, or at least the busiest part, at least in Australia. And for that, you just tune the BFO until the signal becomes audible. So you're flicking through the CB's channels and then when you hear some duck talk you want to uh, decipher then you tune the BFO. It's a bit different to other BFOs. It operates on the received frequency and not on your intermediate frequency. Now the signal from the BFO is loosely coupled to the incoming antenna connection um, that's just a bit of wire, no actual electrical connection, but there's enough capacitance there to provide some injection. Uh, you might want to vary the spacing if you have the wire really tightly coupled, then it might not be so good on signals that aren't so strong. If it's too far away, then strong signals will be very distorted, so there's a bit and cut and try there.
is you can tune signals that are non-amateur. Here it's receiving a 7 MHz broadcast signal. It's just after sunset and long distance signals are coming in on 7 MHz. The converter can pick up broadcast signals quite well. Yeah. 